Now, here's your pinpoint weather forecast with meteorologist Henry Groff. Well, it is going to be a comfortable day across the Middle Ohio Valley, still feeling those summer temperatures, but you're really going to want to take advantage of it if you can today, since that heat wave is going to be coming back in. As we take a look here in downtown Parkersburg, I can see some people on the Ohio River taking advantage of this beautiful weather. Right now, take a look at the High Mark West Virginia Sky Camp. We're sitting at 80 degrees, dew points. We want that in the 50s, and it is, which is why it's feeling so nice out there. Slight winds at the moment, north northeast, six miles per hour. And we're really not looking at a lot of cloud cover around, mainly heading north into Pennsylvania. They're still on the tail end of what remains of the barrel as high pressure starts to move in, which is why you're going to be enjoying plenty of sunshine. Lock in some pretty comfortable weather. We're still going to see those 80s today. We're not going to get the 70s that Pittsburgh is seeing in the upper 60s north in Pennsylvania, but at least we get to bring in some of that drier air, which is something we will take. We'll take the 80s and we'll take the low humidity because that means we won't have to think about that heat index at all. So by the time we get into the evening commute, yes, we're seeing around 87 to 88 degrees, but 88, 87 degrees, that is what it is going to feel like. And with that dry air continuing overnight, as we drop down into the 60s, it is going to be nice and comfortable. So it is going to be that time to take advantage, maybe have some yard work to do. Still probably want to do it in the morning or in the evening, since that's when it's going to be the coolest most comfortable and not the afternoon as we'll start to see the 90s return going into friday and the weekend but some eh, may not be doing it at all since we are still in that drought condition across the middle ohio valley newest drought monitor came out this morning and despite some spots of heavy rain from late last week around the fourth of july holiday that has not helped us at all and in fact as we continue to see dry weather we're not going to add much to our monthly total, which yes, slightly above average at the moment, but that is soon going to start to outpace that and will still be below average where we should be as we add on our total for the year. So today going to be looking at temperatures upper 80s on the dry side, but comfortable overnight as we look at clear skies. Temperatures down into the 60s and then we see those 90s. They are coming back. Even though it is going to be dry, we'll start to feel that humidity increase late into the weekend and into the start of next week. So Monday and Tuesday, mid 90s, but we're making those pinpoint yellow alert days since that heat index, that one thing nobody likes, that's expected to potentially hit that 100 degree mark and nobody wants that. No. We will take the upper 80s we're yeah. seeing today. We will take the dry weather. Yes. But the heat wave, Ooh. we want that gone. I know, I think a lot of people thought we were done. It yeah. was in our past, but it is rearing its head once again. Yeah, we're going to be seeing humidity, yeah. 90, and mm -hmm. no rain in the forecast until next Wednesday. We definitely need that rain. We do. We definitely really need that need rain. It. But you know, Henry, we're not the only ones in the country dealing with heat and humidity.